Did you hear me mention earlier in the show that it is National Brownie Day? Yeah, any excuse for a chocolatey treat is a good one for me. That's what we're making in today's Daily Dish. Here's what you need, my friends. Unsalted butter, sugar, eggs, vanilla extract, some cocoa powder, all-purpose flour, semi-sweet chocolate chips, salt, score pieces, and bourbon caramel sauce. <laughs> okay, Chef Matt is making these brownies for us, so of course he's added an MDP spin to it. Can't wait, Matt. Thanks, Trace. Absolutely. In this case, the MDP uh, little twist on it is going straight for the bourbon. I think we all could use a little bit. <laughs> did I not just see you like a couple of weeks ago? How did you grow a stash that big that quickly? And thank you very much. That's right. This is this is quite the stash here. Uh, it's uh, it's taking a life on its own. Um, you know, it's it's got its own personality, its own area code. Sleeps in a separate you know wing of my house. Uh, it's fun. It's there. Maybe we should name it. But. Uh, I'm trying to look more distinct and a little more mature for our, our city line viewers and watchers here. So, you know, let us know what you think of it. I love the mustache. Perfect. There and, we go. And I love brownies. So I'm sorry. Go ahead with the recipe. No, I can talk mustaches all day, but that's fun. So with that being said, it is National Brownie Day. So let's get into brownies. Quick question, though. Are you a brownie fan or a cake fan? Okay, because I was going to say both, my brother. Um, okay. I, I guess yep. I'm going to lead towards cake, but honestly, I will take them all, all the time. Love it. Chocolate. Yeah, chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. So with that being said, you know what? I am a more of a brownie fan. So yes, it is National Brownie Day, but I always personally lean brownies at a cake sale, at a bake sale when I was a kid. Brownie is obviously going to be a little bit different in terms of how much flour is going to be inside of it. And so uh, more flour makes it a lot more lighter if you're adding baking soda or baking powder, which we're not in this recipe. And that's going to give it its sponginess on a cake. We want dense. We want like compact. You want that fudgy, nice mouthfeel of a great brownie that you bite into. That's what we're making today. So we're starting off with three quarters cup uh, of melted butter. And I've warmed that a little bit because the reason being I want that butter to be a little bit warm because the interaction with our next ingredient, which is a cup of sugar, white sugar, it's actually going to give a brownie that nice crispy glaze. So warm butter and sugar, when you mix that together, that's what's going to give when you bake off your brownie, it's going to give it that nice crispy sort of glaze on top. Almost looks like icing. In this case, Trace, we're making the, uh, the bourbon uh, caramel sauce. Two eggs, so we'll just crack these. We'll get these rocking. A couple egg action. And let's get in. This is super simple. Again, you know, we are living in a bit of a weird time. So this is a recipe. You can get the kids to help out at home. We can get everybody doing. So we've got those three things. We're just going to whisk this together. And as you said, we're going to kick this up a notch too. This is the ultimate score brownie. I don't know about you, but I love score bits. Uh, when I was prepping and making this recipe even last night, I can't lie to you, I probably ate about three quarters of the bag of score bites, just saying. It's, right? it's a casualty, right? it for is. sure, on a Next. recipe like this, eat the chocolate. Eat the chocolate, score bites, a little bit of both. You know, I have addictive personality, I could just keep snacking on that all day. But let's get going here. So flour going in, so we're putting in our dry ingredients into our wet. So you've got three quarters of a cup of flour, a quarter cup of coca powder. So you can use nice, beautiful, uh, raw uh, coca powder. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of vanilla extract, which is about a teaspoon. And we just want to bring that together. You're going to see that come together in a really nice batter, which is great. All shimmery and shiny. Okay. And here we go. We're going to add in our cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Rip that all together. Pinch of our good flaky sea salt. Just a little bit. We can always, you know, put more needed. I'm going to put half of my score bits now in trace. I'm going to save a little bit just before we go live. And we put that uh, into the oven and taking it out of the oven as well. So here's our mixture. This is so simple. We'll get cooking real fast here. So batter goes in. We've got our butter or our baking sheet or baking pan, pardon me. I've got my oven set to 350. And I just want to spoon all of that great mixture. Can you just see that shimmery goodness here? Yeah, save the bowl for me. Just put that aside and I will lick it later. Mm. You just read my mind. I literally was going to say this bowl's coming to you. I'm sending this in an Uber for you <laughs> uh, because this is the best part of any dessert. 
literally the best part of any dessert. We would fight over it. My sister and me would fight over like the spoons and everything. So I just want Trace at 350. We're going to bake this off for roughly around 35 minutes. So if you can see what I've got here, we've got a beautiful brownie sheet done, ready to go. You can see how simple that is. I'm going to add just a touch more of some uh, score bits, pop that into the oven, 35 minutes. At the same time, I've got our second one coming out. Power of TV, if you can see this now, mm -hmm. unbelievable, amazing, you know, crispy. You've got those crunchy score bits. I'm going to leave that for a second as we just rip through this caramel sauce, which literally takes 30 seconds. So we've got our beautiful water going in. It's beautiful water, apparently. I'm getting excited about it here today in my kitchen. Uh, we've got white sugar. You've got a quarter and a cup going in. Corn syrup. Corn syrup going in. So that's what's going to create that nice sort of caramel brown uh, notes that we want on that. We've got a quarter cup of butter. Bring that all together, Trace, just on a low sort of medium heat. A little bit of cream. Try not to spill as much as I am on my uh, stove top. We're just gonna bring that together. I wanna put now our bourbon. You talked about having fun. I wish I could take a sip of that, but that is going right in there. So we've got some good quality bourbon and a pinch of sea salt. Tracy, I want to cover that. Stir it, cover it for about five minutes. You're good to go. And then let's just get into the piece de resistance. I've got a little bit of caramel sauce that I've cooked off. I'm letting it cool. Can you just see what I'm doing here, Trace? Let's just drizzle Ooh. like crazy. Oh, Matt, those look amazing. That recipe is on our website, cityline.tv. And like I said, it's National Brownie Day today, so you should probably make them today to celebrate. Oh, you can also enjoy them after cutting down your fresh Christmas tree.